hey guys welcome back so guys we are continuing our pos system in php so now guys in this video we are going to do the print option okay so basically we are going to create one order view print.php file and inside that we are going to design the billing format and that billing format will be printed as pdf or you can use a control p to print that so now guys let's get started so in previous two three videos we have already made that uh, format okay so while if you create the order and let me add some items here while creating the order okay let's select online payment let me add some phone number proceed okay customer not found let me add this new number as with user3 at gmail.com and you can make it as user3 or with and now let's click on save okay done let's proceed again so this is our view guys okay this order summary dot php code we are going to copy and paste for the print option okay and let me save this order so once you click on save okay and here also we have print option right so we are going to do that functionality here also print and download part so guys now let me close this everything and let's get started here so first let's move to our orders dot php so let's close everything and let me zoom it so it will be more clear and this is my admin folder inside admin folder we need to go on orders.php file and here is our td tag for the print button okay let me zoom it more okay so and let's add the file name here like to redirect orders view print.php file and we need to give the tracking number also so let me copy from top and paste here that's it guys so now let us copy this file name and create inside the admin folder so i have created it now and now guys you need to import the basic header and footer part so let us copy from the orders table itself let's copy this paste here let's move below at the last and with some div ending tags let us copy and paste all set so now guys you just need to add a, a tag here for the back button use a class danger float and let's make this button as small and which will be redirected on orders.php and let's show in this heading print order okay so now guys let us see this output first let's move back refresh and let's click on the print button perfect so you are on orders view print.php with the tracking number cool so now guys let's get started with the coding so now guys let's open php close php check with the if condition and in the else you can tell no such parameter found so in this if condition we are going to check that our get method of your tracking parameter is found or not okay so if it is found then you are going to paste here if it's not found then you're going to show some like no tracking number parameter found so let me copy from the previous video code in the orders view we have that structure design let me copy this so i don't need to redesign it again okay so here i paste parameter found okay so if it is found then you're coming in getting the tracking number tracking number equal to use a validate function to validate the tracking number so trsck track okay so now guys you need to check if this is not empty if double equal to null then you can show this again same message no tracking number found okay or you can tell like please provide tracking number done guys so this was about the validation and now here your main query starts dollar order query equal to where you can tell select orders 
dot star comma customer dot star from orders table O and customers table C where customer dot ID equal to customer underscore ID so from where it is it is coming from orders table so just mention order dot customer ID okay so your customer table ID which is equal to your order customer ID get only those records let me break it down use and trackingNumber tracking number equal to inside single quotes add a limit that only one record should come so what is the tracking number here we got it so if the data is there then it's going to get the data and now guys let's run this query order query result equal to with the mysqli underscore query function first connection and then your order query and now guys let's check it is true or false if it's not true you can just show that message like something went wrong or you can print this itself no worries let's echo in a h5 tag and tell something went wrong just return false if it is correct then you are going to check that it is having some data or not so what we'll do let's copy this let's use masculine number of rows function to check the data is there at least more than one else you can tell no record available so let me copy this condition and paste here and tell no data found and now guys if the data is found get row data okay so let's tell order data row equal to where mysqli fetch associate data and your order result so your executed value you have to take and paste here and now guys let us just divide the php here open and close php and here your table structure starts so we have already done the table designing in order summary.php let me just copy from there okay so this is my table view guys let me copy this completely and paste here so let me align it and guys i'll just show you the first td with some random data okay then second td where your customer details comes and then the third td is about the invoice data okay so now we'll be getting all that details order data row let's copy that variable and use in each of the detail so here customer name order data of name okay so guys let me just print and show you this what you are getting here echo and just get back and you need to comment this guys let me comment this table so it will not give an error let's refresh okay array to string conversion let's use print underscore r function refresh so here you see we have all the details okay let me comment comment that print and uncomment this table body and now guys you need to paste here so order data row of phone and order date of email we get all these details and here is the invoice number invoice number is nothing but the tracking number guys okay so order data of trackingng underscore no number and this will be the today date and now we can get back refresh perfect so here we have got the details guys and now let us uh, execute the items of it so let's get back so let's get back on the order summary and move below here is our order table guys okay let me just copy this 
So this is my complete div. You can copy it, get back, paste it. After this if condition, you have to start the code. So basically I'll just show you. This is my tracking if first condition and inside this if condition I am still there. So inside that you can just start directly dollar your order item query equal to okay so now guys let's type the query here select and you need to get three tables data that is your orders table order items and then your product table data okay so orders table dot all details comma then order item dot all detail comma and product table dot all details that is star from orders table will understand as o then order underscore items table understand as oi and products table understand as p okay and then use a where condition let me break so it will be more clear and yep where order item from the order item table get order underscore id column which will be equal to order table dot id primary key id okay use and operator product table dot id equal to order item table of product underscore id okay and then again use and from order table tracking tracking underscore number equal to your tracking number here okay so we have already got at the top let me fold this so here is our tracking number let's copy this and just call that perfect so we have got all the details and now guys we will be modifying few things in this query again so let's execute the above query order item query result equal to mysqli underscore query function where get the connection and then your order item query so we got it and now guys you need to check whether this is true or false so if it's true then you come in else you can mention like something went wrong so let's copy and paste mention here something went wrong and then if it is true you are going to get all the data else you tell no data found use a mysql number of row to check the data is there or not so what is the result here let's copy this you need to check whether it is greater than zero then come in and here you need to paste your html table so what we have copied from here let me show you from the beginning so this is my file here order summary.php so here is the order summary if you have not watched please watch this video i have given the link in description okay so this is my card body and this is the first if condition which you don't require in the second if condition product items we have a table design structure okay so we are going to copy this let me copy this completely and we need to modify few things here let's paste yep so let me show you this complete table row id product name then price quantity and total price now let's move below on this table body and you don't need the total amount just remove that and you do not require this total amount also just use for each loop and you have to get the data so what is that data guys we are taking this result right executed query let's copy that and paste here order item query result as dollar row you are taking it and looping all this data so once your looping is started here and here the loop ends for each loop so guys first incrementing the one two three four okay and then the product name and now guys you need to get the price so price is nothing but your order item price not your products table price so let's tell order item price so let's copy this and you need to 
add it. So let's modify our query here. Order item price. So from where is this order item? Order item dot price as order item price. Okay, so we are telling that just understand your order item price column as order item price. Now you can utilize here. Okay, as simple. Same way guys, you need to get this quantity also. Let me paste here order item quantity copy and just modify the query again. Give comma. Let me copy this and paste here as your order item quantity column as order item quantity. And now guys, the total price here. Let's copy this your price and then your order item quantity. Done. So it gives the calculation and gives you the output. And now guys at this table row you have to get the total amount. So total amount we have already stored in our orders table. Dollar row of total underscore amount column name. That's it. And the payment mode. Let's copy this dollar row of your payment mode. Okay. So let me just show you in the database in the orders table let's move so here we have tracking number total amount and the payment underscore mode perfect guys so now guys let us see the output get back refresh perfect so let's go back now guys let's print with third order okay so guys this video is already extended so here we have shown how to make the printing billable format and let's continue next video guys about how to add the print button and print the download pdf button for printing this bill okay so guys in this video that's it thank you for watching this video please subscribe like and share